Hi, my name is Ron Rivest. I'm a professor here at MIT, actually an institute professor, and I have a special interest in election integrity. So my work in election integrity involves uh, ensuring that the outcomes are what they should be. Uh, and those involve either cryptographic techniques or statistical techniques, or sometimes physical techniques for drawing random samples of ballots. But computers don't need to play a role in elections uh, in principle. I mean, you could have ballots, paper ballots, marked by hand and counted by hand. And some jurisdictions still do that, so no computers aren't used at all. Um, that's hard with United States elections because the, because the ballots tend to be so complicated. And having some computer assistance in the tabulation seems to be uh, useful. Um, it's not maybe necessary, but it's, it's highly useful. And, and so people do that a lot. But then you have to wonder, are those computers doing the right thing? Are they giving the right answer? Are they tabulating the ballots correctly? And so there's a whole... Uh, line of research, which I'm involved in, which asks the question, how, do, how can we arrange it so that that tabulation process is checkable, it's auditable, it's verifiable, so that we can see in a simple manner that we're getting the right results. The first thing to be concerned about is voting. So voters, if they don't vote, then, then you know they're not participating in the process. Uh, second thing is they want to make sure that their vote is recorded the way they intend it to be. And the best way to do that is with a paper ballot. We can use machines sometimes to record votes, but there's uh, immense difficulties with trying to have any kind of guarantee that the machines are recording things properly. So paper ballots are the way to go. And then you'd like to see that the collection of the ballots is done properly and the tabulation is done properly and that the outcome is announced correctly. Uh, and one of the mindsets that a voter could put themselves in and say, oh, I'm a supporter of this candidate. If this candidate loses, what evidence can I look at to convince myself that the tabulation was done properly and that my candidate actually lost? 